right, welcome back everybody, it's easy. Back inside GB Elite Part 3. That's right, we've done three different different videos inside GB Elite so far, and we're not done yet. I got an, at least two more coming. These guys are great. But this this episode here we have we have the boss in this one. We have Neon Knight. He's gonna be uh, the first two attacks are from Neon Knight. And we'll break down the first two attacks because he he nails these attacks. These aren't luck. This isn't just putting the troops in and going. This is a this is a perfectly well executed attack. He starts off this attack with uh, he starts off with a funnel, puts a couple of baby dragons in, puts an archer down there in the corner. Uh, as he clears out, uh, he clears out some of the trash buildings on that top right. Then he comes in with with either three or four Pekka. I'm not I'm not quite sure because this screen is so tiny. I, I can't see anything. Uh, puts a couple of healers on top of him. As soon as he breaks through the wall, then he brings in the can clan castle troops, which is the bowlers. Uh, so he's got Pekka, he's got bowlers, he's got the healers, he's got his heroes, he's got the, the wizards in behind him. He rages them up to get him through that first little section. Out comes the clan castle troops, he meets them with a poison spell. And the archer queen takes care of, uh, the, between the poison spell and the archer queen, they take care of the dragon, take, take care of the balloons. Um, now... The Pekka, they, they leave that first compartment. They run outside. They take care of Town Hall. Everything starts to split up. The healers stay on the Queen. Uh, but by this time, they've already got through a little portion of the base. And uh, the Pekka, they're, they're so strong at this level. Um, they clear out the whole top half. And then in comes the Hog Riders. And that, that's, that's how he's going to finish this attack off. He brings in 10 or 12 Hog Riders down to the bottom of the base. He's got a heal spell left. He puts the heal right there in that cluster of defenses. And I, I don't even think he loses a hog. Basically, he just he just wipes the whole bottom part of the base out. He's still got bowlers in the middle. He's still got a king at full health with a bowler behind it. Coming down through the bottom left here. He's got uh, another packet coming down around that side. The queen has been shooting at a wall for about 20 minutes now. Um, she decides to shoot at the, the left wall, then the right wall. So she's just chilling down there. Uh... He used the ability on the queen. He already knows he's got the base. A perfectly executed uh, attack. Perfectly executed. It's called the, the PHBH. So, I didn't know the name of that, but. And that stands for the Pekka Healer Bowler Healer. Um, I hadn't seen that attack much. Um, it's the, He says uh, it's his favorite attack. We'll see that more then. I'm sure we'll see that attack more. But if we get a couple more three stars in the next couple wars. Uh, right now they're playing uh, one of the CWL, I believe the uh, clans. One of one of the one of the uh, league clans. So they're in a tough war right now. But there's going to be some excellent gameplay coming out of that war. That we'll, we'll catch all that tomorrow. Okay, next attack is the Gola Loon. And what you have to pay attention to the Gola Loon. A lot of people try this attack, and a lot of people fail at this. And what he does so well, uh, he he starts off with a golem. Uh, put a couple wizards behind it to take care of the trash buildings. Put a wall, the wall breakers down. Broke open the wall. Gets into the into the compartment. Adds the heroes. So now he's got golem, ball, bowlers, heroes. Uh, clan castle troops come out. He meets them with a with a poison spell. The queen takes care of. Uh, Use the queen's ability to take care of the dragon. By this time, he's already got one air defense down. The king takes out the second air defense. So there's two air defenses down before the air portion of this raid starts. And that's what a lot of people end up having trouble with. Now he puts in two Lava Hound on the top air defense. And if you notice, he's not putting in a big giant line of balloons. He's just putting a couple of balloons on every one of the defenses. So they'll all take out one defense each. And then at that point, they'll converge on the next layer of defenses. And then they'll just kind of plow through the rest. Now, the, the, he hasn't had, a, he hadn't had the, the first, first uh, Lava Hound just popped. You really want those Lava Hounds to pop. If not, you have a hard time clearing out the base. But uh, he still has uh, at least, it's so, this is real small, uh, I'm looking at a tiny little graphic screen on this attack. Um, but he's got at least one balloon left in the bank, he's got a couple minions left, so he's got plenty of troops to sprinkle in there to make sure he gets the, this whole base, got plenty of time left. So another great attack, these are both perfectly executed attacks. Um, kind, kind of looks like, uh, like he's done this before, I don't know, that's just what I think. So... Uh, Two great attacks to learn from. The first, the first attack was a unique attack with the with the the uh, the Pekka's, the bowlers, the healers. That's a difficult attack because 
the you know the the Pekka don't protect those healers as well as, as the bowlers do and as the Archer Queen does. So that's a hard attack to pull off. And then the Gola Loon, that's the one of the most failed attacks that I see because people replace the the Lava House with the Golem and they just can't get into the base far enough. But he did it perfectly. He got all the way through the second air defense. Just a perfect attack. Uh, this next attack is by Kiki. This is another max bowler attack. Uh, GB Elite loves the max bowler attacks. They've got them down to a science. Um, they, they have, a lot of them have the, the warden. And, you know, the bowlers got a, a little nerf uh, a, a while back now. But it, it made it, they made it kind of tough for Town Hall 10s to three star the Town Hall 10s with, with the bowlers. But if you're a Town Hall 11 and you have that warden ability, you can, I mean, the bowlers are lethal. Because as soon as they get to the core of the base, you can use that Warden's ability, and that preserves them all the way through the core, which is where it has all that high DPS. And uh, Kiki, with a, uh, this is, I've seen four or five attacks from Kiki, and uh, they're immaculate attacks. So he still has healers up, still has his, all, all the heroes have used their abilities, but they're still out there. Uh, he's got bowlers coming around the outside. And there's a there's an expo that's up still, but I believe he's got the queen and the warden on it, with a healer on their back. Um, he's got the he's got a bowler coming around the outside. He's got another one on the bottom. So there's just not that many defenses left right now. And another huge advantage for having the grand warden, and this is something that because I'm not a town hall eleven yet. I, I'm a, I'm a ten and, and under. And I've seen a lot of Town Hall 11 gameplay, but I've still you still forget little things if you if you don't actually play with that Town Hall. Well, I know the Warden outranges a lot of different def defenses, so the Warden outranges the Bomb Tower, so no problem there. And so now I'm looking at the clock, and you know there he's running out of time. And then I, I noticed something that I didn't expect, and that's the warden is the walls are not an obstacle for the warden. He just jumps right over them, and I forgot that because I just hadn't seen, um, hadn't seen it in that long. It's been that long since I've seen a ground-based warden. I've seen the air, you know, I've been watching these air-based wardens for the past month or two. So great attack, another three star. Well, just had to redo that whole section of the video because um, my child tried to kill me. Have you ever had the feeling that someone was watching you and then you look over your shoulder and there's someone standing there? <laughs> well, her little head was in the window watching me. We have a window coming out in this into this room out here and and it's got a, it's got glass panes on it and I, I just knew I saw something out of the corner of my eyes and I'm wearing glasses so I can't see over there. And uh <laughs> it's my child. I uh, literally almost gave me a heart attack. She's trying to kill her father. I thought it was my damn dog. Have a great day and that stands that tall. Uh, okay, so back to Miss Gerald. Sorry, Miss Gerald. My child tried to kill me. Uh, she's coming in with a bowler attack as well. Uh, also has the warden. Now this is another three star and just a little little history. Since I've been here in this clan, I believe um, every attack she's done has been a three star. She does a, a lot of drop down attacks, so I didn't get her in the last video. Uh, just because I'm, I'm trying to show fairly equal attacks, and this was a pretty good base for her to attack. So, uh, what a weapon to have someone that's willing to drop down and, and get these three stars war after war for you. Uh, they have a lot of players that are, you know, th this is not a, um, a greedy team. There's a lot of, uh, we've had the, we've had it in our clan. I'm sure every clan has had it for a brief moment. Players that are just, they have to attack the top of the, of the, of the clan for the loot. And these are that's not this clan. That's why they have so many wins. They don't they're not looking at the at the loot at all They're looking at stars. That's how you're supposed to play these wars You're not supposed to be looking at the loot. Uh, the, the loot's great and all but that's not how you play now this next one This is fat poo. This is a this is a Valkyrie attack and this is going to be one of the better qu uh, Queen walks that you're going to see yeah, now this is something that a lot of players try to use the Queen walk and what happens is they start the Queen walk and they let it go on for 10 or 15 seconds and then all of a sudden that clock starts ticking away and they feel the clock and instead of letting the queen do the work that she's supposed to do uh, as as the queen's going down the side here th there's a lot there's a lot of this base that she can take out if they if they just have patience with it and they get her all the way down to the very bottom corner of this base 
Uh, now, starting to trickle in the, the wizards. Now the clan castle troops come in. The king comes in. Now all the Valkyries come in. But look, all that the whole bottom part of the base has already been taken out. So the Valkyries, which you know, the Valkyries at one point were the elite troop. Everyone used them. They were three. They were automatic three stars. Um, they they made adjustments on the AI on the Valkyries. Now now they are not automatic three stars. You have to you have to use them extremely smart to get the three stars out of them. And one way to do that is with these long queen walks. And they took out tons of defenses. They took out three or four uh, splash damage defenses. So now the, now the Valkyries are in the core. They're underneath the the rage and underneath the heal spell. Still have a bunch of them up. Still have the bowlers up. Still have all kinds of troops up. The Valkyries are now on the top. They're going around the outside. Um, now you have to be careful of Valkyries going around the outside of bases. They are, they just don't last going around the outside. So a real smart move, putting a heal spell on them that keeps them all alive. Um, now they're going to go from going from the outside and start pounding on um, on the wall. And this is another area where you have to be careful with Valkyries. They are notorious for picking different sections of the wall. Fortunately, they had the king to follow, and it seems like whenever there's a hero there with them, wherever the king goes, the Valkyries go. So, great attack. Really well played. Well, That was a very well manipulated attack. Next one is, is Vonk Thunders. Found out today who Vonk was. I was mistaken. I thought this was someone else. But this, this particular player... Um, just ate up the scoreboard last last war had probably 90% of his attacks in um, uses all bowlers and all the all accounts and is a is masterful at it um, c comes in with the double bowler heel the, the, you know, the double bowler walk so basically there's a bowler walk up top bowler walk down bottom and then you'd come into the core with all with the heroes um, getting ready to use the warden's ability as soon as uh, as soon as you get towards the core of the base You want to use the warden's ability to help the, the bowlers get through the middle of the base um, I believe I watched this earlier and I think that you know when I when I watched this earlier I thought there was a little opportunity missed with the warden's ability there and you notice that the warden still has his ability But there's not that many troops left on the on the table um, that, that in my opinion could have been used a little earlier, you know slight there's mistakes made and didn't have to pay for it this time because it already had so much of the base taken care of that it's still going to be able to push their way through the base. But um, my advice is use that ability earlier than later because if you use the ability earlier and you manage to keep all of your troops alive into the core of the base, you know you want to wait until you're in the core, especially when you have Inferno Towers in the, in the core of the base. Uh, you want to wait until those infernos are burned down on whatever troops you have next to the uh, warden. Then you use the warden's ability. Now everything in, uh, is invincible. You can throw a heal spell on them, start healing them back up. Um, but it, it, it's better to use it on the way to the core if you're going to lose half your troops getting there. Because then you can get to the core with everything and you just rage through the core instead of using the warden ability through the core. And uh, for the record, I'm not trying to be critical to someone that's a three-star machine that obviously knows what he's doing. Just kind of stating the obvious. So anyway, awesome war again. Uh, pleasure doing another video with these guys. Can't wait to do the next one. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have the next one out. Um, like the video if you like the video. For any of you that haven't subbed to the channel yet, do, do us a favor. Sub to the channel. Um, Easy needs another sub. We need subs every day. Come on, guys. And I appreciate you watching till the end. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.